Hello everyone, my name is Pastel Sparkles and I am a streamer over on Twitch. And today I am going to be discussing just how thirsty Dragon Age 2 is. Last week I brought out a video about Dragon Age Origins and three days later I finished Dragon Age 2. And what a journey we've been on. <laughs> Dragon Age 2 came out two years after Dragon Age Origins and in between the two games EA bought Bioware and they saw the incredible success of Origins and said hey how about we get out a game right now and they had very limited time to work on the game and therefore there are a ton of things that are very clearly rushed in the game which is sad, but I think for a game that was rushed, there are still some very good things about it. So the original game is maybe a 40 hour rough playthrough for the base of the game, including character side quests and things like that. But Dragon Age 2 is closer to 15 to 20 hours. So you can see there's quite a significant lack of content in the game, but in saying that it is quite fast paced so I think that it actually grabs you in far more than Origins did, at least for me it did. I did feel like I wanted to keep playing, I felt like there was always something that I needed to do that I needed to do now, which I, I didn't quite feel that so much in Origins. Everything sort of felt like a capsule thing, whereas in 2, even though everything is an act, it felt more like I had free reign over anything that I wanted to do in the areas available to me. One thing about this game that is also kind of different to Origins is that there's a real stark difference between the people that you choose. People either hate mages or they hate the Templars and there's no real grey area for that. So your choices feel more dramatic than they have in any other game. But they also don't really mean anything and don't really change the way the game plays at all. The only thing that really happens is a romance. So for me, the game was very entertaining and I enjoyed it very much because the romance is kind of the biggest part of it for me. But if you aren't playing for romance, it does kind of feel like your choices mean something and then the story goes in a way that you couldn't choose anyway. So I don't know, it, it did make me feel a little bit like Ah, a little bit like uh, Fire Emblem felt for me when it gave you the illusion of choice, but they just kind of decided to take the game however they wanted to, which is fine. So for Dragon Age 2, the people that I had in my party most of the time were Varric, Fenris, and Anders. From the start of the game, I was pretty interested in Anders. I know that's controversial. A lot of my friends, either one way or the other on Anders, there's no middle ground. And very fair enough, I want to say. In the beginning, I felt like I was really going against some of my friends by saying that I was interested in Anders. I was like, why? Why is there anything bad about him? He's nice. And Fenris, he's mean to you in the beginning. And he says that he fucking hates mages. And well, fuck you, man. Like, I know that you've been hurt, but like, clearly these people are helping you and clearly not all of them are bad. So why are you lumping them all into one box? That's very mean and short-sighted. And Anders is a mage, so there's some rivalry between them despite them being very similar characters overall and the only kind of negative thing toward Anders in the beginning was he's very oh but I'm going to hurt you I have a spirit living inside my body and I can't control him and being around you has made me even more out of control but it's made me feel safer with you and originally I was like, ooh woo, hurt me I guess. But then he kind of kept saying it and it started really annoying me that he kept saying, oh, but I'm gonna hurt you. I'm like, dude, I heard you, you told me. You don't have to keep telling me. I clearly wanted to date you, that's why I was pursuing you. And then you had to keep saying kind of no, but without actually saying no to me and stringing me along. I know that in the end, obviously romance happens if you choose it that way, but ah. Uh, 
I don't care. I didn't want it. Because you made me feel like I didn't want it the whole time. Because you kept being like, no. Don't tempt me. Well, I'm sorry that I want romance with you, little bitch. But no, not anymore. Because all of a sudden, Fenris started being nice to me in Act 2. And all of a sudden, he became hot and, um, well... That's that, I guess. So, in the end, I ended up romancing Fenris. I did kind of start a romance with Isabella, and then the things that happened in Act 2 made me not like her very much. So, I kind of stopped that, but also Fenris really started catching my attention in Act 2. Very early on with Fenris, you have an opportunity to flirt with him, and it turned into sex, like straight away, pretty much. And nothing comes of it for a really long time. It's just left there. And I actually thought that we weren't dating because I thought maybe I had said something incorrectly or flirted when I maybe shouldn't. And some of his responses are a little bit confusing, but then in banter and things like that between characters throughout the game, like Gamlin, your uncle, he talks about the fact that you're dating an elf and Leandra talks about it, your mum. So I knew I was pretty sure that like things were going pretty well. Overall, I really enjoyed the Fenris Rivalmance playthrough. That's actually one really cool thing about this game is not only do they tell you when you're flirting with someone, but it doesn't matter what they think of you, you can still romance them. Bug? I fucking swear. So I had never gotten anything good with Fenris. He was always rival with me or I was upping his rivalry. I could never get really friend points with him. A few times I did, but it was kind of because I knew that that would be an answer he liked. But more often than not, I was picking rival for it because he hates mages and I like mages and wanted to help them. Sorry. I had a rival mance with him. I'm not actually sure what the friend mance is with him. I imagine it would be lovely, but at what cost, you know? At the cost of saying that mages are all shit because they could do blood magic and there is definitely something wrong with blood magic. We have much to say about that. In Act 1, you flirt with them. In Act 2, there's lots of sex. You can have sex with all of the characters if you time it right. But to make sure that you get who you want in Act 3, you need to be careful who you pick. I think Isabella is the easiest to knock off quite early because her... Questioning beliefs questline opens up pretty early so you can kind of fuck her and go if you want to or fuck her and continue with her if you would like that but uh, I didn't I only did the did the woohooing with Fenris in this game in act three you have an encounter again where there's much kissing and things like that and I was like ooh, that's very cute there was only sex at the start and now it's just kissing what's happening I don't mind, but what's happening? You're able to give gifts easier in this game. You can't really give them the gifts like you could in Origins. They give you a quest to give them a gift that you might have picked up along the way. So it's very, if you want to do this, you can do this, which I really like because I sometimes need a little bit of direction. And in the final kind of part of Act 3, before you do the big bad, you talk to the people that sided with you in your decisions. And when I spoke to Fenris, he was the last one that I spoke to, he gets really emotional and says like, even though I don't agree with you, I support you and so I'm here with you. And then he gets emotional and just kisses you because he's like, I don't want to lose you and things like that, which <sighs> it just kills me after everything, even especially as a rival man when you don't think that the person really likes you, but there's something between you, you know? It's very satisfying having that little smoochy smoochy right there before we, everyone goes to die, pretty much. <laughs> Some of the things that I didn't like about the game are outside of the thirst level of it. So I really didn't like that there was a limit, the amount of maps available. Every place you went to pretty much had the same map. Every building that you went into had the same map as Fenris's mansion. Every underground tunnel in Darktown was the same map. It just became very boring and very predictable. Every time I went anywhere, I was just like, well, cool, I'm gonna go here and then go here and oh, there'll be an enemy that makes sense-ish to the story here. I'll kill them and that'll be that. That really pissed me off. The fact that none of your choices really matter in the game pissed me off. And 
in particular, I sided with the Kunari for a lot of the game. Even though a lot of the things that they did I don't agree with, but they are the marginalized group. There has to be something to be done in a marginalized group if they're not being represented or heard by the privileged people, I suppose. And then by the end of Act 2, they fight you regardless of whether you have helped them or not. I earned their respect, but they wanted to fucking kill me anyway. So, I don't know. This review has been everywhere because I have a lot of feelings. But overall, I mean, what did I think of how thirsty the game was? It was hella fucking thirsty. It was even more thirsty, in my opinion, than Origins was. And I'm not sure if that's just because I didn't get the sexy scene with Leliana in Origins. But I think even after seeing the sexy scene and things like that, it didn't really... Like, it, it felt okay, and I felt a bond with them. But I didn't feel the bond quite so deeply as I felt with Dragon Age 2. So I think in Dragon Age 2, it feels more fulfilling. Even though all of the characters are very flawed that you can romance. I think it's good though that they're flawed because it makes them a little bit more real. Anders is a little bitch baby who's self-righteous and then does things for no reason. Even though you might agree with them, he just goes, my way is the only way and I'm right, so fuck everyone else. That's very annoying. Also, he's extremely manipulative. Fenris has no chill. He's all angry all the time and that's fine, but like, open up your heart a little bit, please. Isabella is a bitch. She only thinks of herself. She's very beautiful though, and she's very sexy. So I don't know what to do there. I'm very conflicted. Meryl is a bitch baby, and not bitch baby in the way that Anders is, more baby than bitch, in that she acts like a child. She's the character from Dragon Age Origins, which it's heavily suggested that the group of elves that she comes from is the one that your original hero, if you played a Dalish elf, comes from in Origins. So her character does a huge flip, but also does things that are unforgivable and kind of gross. So I don't know, there's, there's negatives to them all and there's probably positives to them all. I just can't really see very many for them in this game, unfortunately. Pretty much all of them are bad choices, but you still love the, the romance along the way. This bitch forgot to give you an actual out of 10 rating for this game, so I am having to do it now. Pastel gives this game a 40 thirsts out of 10 because the characters are very spicy and memorable and are the thing that drives the game for her, at least. Back to Pastel. So yeah, I, I had a really good time with Dragon Age 2. I cannot wait to play Inquisition, which I'm probably already playing on stream by the time that this comes up. If you would like to see that, check out my Twitch. Otherwise, if you like these kinds of videos and the stuff that I do on this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and leave a comment on who you romanced in this game and what you thought about the romance in general. If you've done a couple of romances also, let me know how you feel about the friendments, the rivalments, and all of those kinds of things. They're very cool. I would like to do a rivalmance with Meryl just because I think that might be funny. But anyway, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>